Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Johdri from Tasty Tutorials, and today we will create a destruction uh, explosion, whatever you can call it is. Uh, it's like a dispersion effect basically. Uh, but I have composed this uh, according to a tutorial which is very very much famous uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's a uh, dispersion smoke effect of my tutorial, and uh, maybe you guys having some problems. But there is no initial big problem you, you if you would see that. So I decided I would like to make that this tutorial same as uh, that dispersion smoke effect tutorial. So thing is same. You just need to change the brushes. So let's start our work without wasting any kind of time. Okay. So uh, before we start, let me just show you what we will be getting in the end of this tutorial so this is an example with having some simple image you can see that and after creating our dispersion and you will see the amazing effect so let's just close one by one this effect we will create the today this one-sided effect it looks nice and dispersed you can see that it looks like it's exploding outside so i will try to make uh, the bigger pieces at closer and the smaller pieces as uh, as far from the subject it could look nice as well so this is what let's just close this thing also and we will move to the next example this one is two sided one side is look like some long bars dispersion and this side is like some dirt dispersion so i hope you will like this uh, uh, tutorial so let's just start properly this is the image which i am going to use in this tutorial you can download that image it's pretty much nice and uh, easy and uh, when you want to use the image just make sure that if you are using a white image or white character then try to make the background as dark as possible because with the those same effects your dispersion will not be uh, watchable okay so make sure that you use both of these things against them so first of all we need to create selection around our character so we will simply go to quick selection tool and we will create a selection but we will not select our subject because we need to select it one by one it's not a it's it's, it's a long technique it's a old technique also what we will do is we will simply just click on the outer areas simply and we don't want to mess with inner sides of the character and you will see it 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 it, it has done its work properly now you will see that we want to select uh, this character not only background so we'll simply just uh, we can directly click on layer mask or if you want to inverse this just go to select and click on inverse so let's just go to layer mask now you will see our character is gone so just press ctrl i and if you want uh, be able to see that just click on this layer mask and then ctrl i and you will see your character is back so this is the basic work now we will create a new file size of the file depends on uh, your choice so i would like to go with the 9020 by 1080 pixels and the resolution i will keep it as 300 uh, percent oh sorry pixels per inch background i will use is uh, transparent 8 bit per channel you can make it 16 bits but i think it's uh, 8 bit per channel much better and nice so we'll click on uh, dispersion and that's its name let's just give it a uh, effect also now just click on create so here we go now what we'll do is we will simply just uh, give a background color so we'll go to this adjustments panel and click on gradients from the gradients click on gradient panel and we'll select black to white and we'll change the uh, black one to little lighter lighter darker like uh, this one then we'll select this one and make it little matte color like this and uh, yep click on ok now we'll click on reverse then we'll click on radial and then we'll change the angle to zero percent you can increase or decrease all is in your hands so i'm fine with this so click on ok but you will see that there is a little lines coming across outside this so we'll take them uh, look after them later so let's just uh, click and drag our character into our main directory so that's our character now we will press ctrl t 
zoom it out center this and we'll size it down according to our need so i think i am fine with this size you can make it bigger or smaller all is in your hand so i would like to go with uh, this one it looks nice and pretty much simple so yeah that's nice now we'll double check and press ctrl a and then we'll center this now press ctrl d now we have our character let's just move it a little bit this side so we could see the dispersion is going in this side now the basic work is done and uh, what uh, we need to do is at this time is we'll simply just click on uh, this layer mask and drag it on delete it will ask about do you want to apply this layer mask uh, if you will click yes it will apply this on this and if you want to be a short person just cancel this right click on this and click on apply layer mask so now we have only png character now we will name this as a model or we can just name it as a, a particles so that's it then we'll create a copy of this uh, by pressing ctrl j then name this as uh, dispersion that's nice okay so we have two layers dispersion and particle so we'll click on uh, particles and press and hold your alt key make sure your foreground color is black press control your alt key sorry alt key and hold it and click on layer mask it will create a black layer mask and it will hide this up so what we need to do is click on this um, character layer go to filter and liquify and i'm so sorry i forgot to tell you that uh, i'm using photoshop cc 2017 it's not a big deal you can use any version now we want to liquify this but i don't want to deform this face and this hand so what we'll do is we'll click on this uh, freeze mask and then we'll simply just mask out the area which we don't want to stretch so i think i am fine with this uh, area uh, on this side because we don't want to uh, apply this effect on all other sides like this i think i am very very fine with this that's cool and now the only thing is left is click on this smudge tool or forward wrap tool size it up as much as you can and simply just drag it out like this same thing with face make it a little bigger as much as you can you can see that the hand is pulled out not to worry about that you will uh, we'll check it later but before we do anything else let me just hide these things because we don't want to use these uh, white area our particle should completely be black so i would like to make it little like this and i will make it to the top so i think i am fine with this it's totally black now and it's not even noticeable so great so that's great our particle should be black so i i just prepared this according to our needs so i think i am fine with these settings if you are satisfied with this just click on ok now if you want to see the dispersion or sorry liquify effect just press shift and click on mask and you will see this is the uh, dispersed action so we'll press shift and close and now we'll turn on our second layer without holding any key just click on uh, this layer it will make a white layer mask now we have two masks but uh, first of all uh, we will now create dispersion effect so click on b okay and i am using these uh, dust brushes or destruction brushes so let me just show you uh, if we go to there yeah there we go explosion brushes i would lead i would like to give you a link to download these brushes these are totally free of cost you can down use them for this tutorial go to back go back to photoshop just load them how to load them just click on this gearbox click on load brushes from the load brushes just click on explosion brushes and load them that's the simple procedure and now i am going to select this brush and uh, it's not a big deal you can use any of them you're not bound with the usage of these uh, brushes and just to make sure that you are uh, rotating things again so let's just go to windows and click on brushes this is the important part so keep rotating the uh, brush like first make sure show your foreground color is black and select this white uh, layer mask and click on it like this 
then rotate this little bit and we would make it totally random like this then again rotate it a little more and then I would like to change my brush so select the second brush size it down a little bit make it a little bit bigger not so much just a little bit then again just uh, keep clicking on the sides which you wanna uh, disappear uh, with the particles try to make a little bigger brush like this so that's it I think I am fine with the settings yeah that's cool so we have erased all the edges like this but don't use repetitive brushes just make random selections that's it now we'll select our particles layer select on black layer mask change your foreground color to white and now we will select our same brush but this time we want to change the direction so you can change direction from here also and from this side also so that's the direction but make it a little curvy like uh, this size should be smaller maybe i think so like uh, this and this like this i i nice i i really love this side but try to make random so i think it looks uh, great from this side looks fabulous so i think i am fine with this setting and uh, now we can make adjustments more adjustments like uh, kind of uh, let's just change the style i would like to make the center a little yellow like this we can make it uh, much better and i would like to make the sides a little darker but i, th I don't think so it's a nice idea so i'm stick with the plan and i would like to go to selective colors and we will select black and make it a little more darker colors take it to the top change the colors like neutrals then I'll go to vibrance and make it little vibrant colors then I would like to go to channel mixer and we'll make experiments small experiments here and then go to color balance go to highlights or oh sorry shadows and highlights looks great let's just apply a hui saturation and we'll make uh, uh, blacks or uh, uh, what should uh, we change cyan let's just go to uh, it's uh, uh, which magentas I'm fine with this and let's just apply a gradient select any of the gradients i have provided the file in the previous tutorial you can download that file free of cost let's just make it a soft light and now we'll select our gradients this is not a good idea you can just make it a 90 percent oh sorry zero percent and radial then select reverse and now it looks much better I think I'm fine with this. Looks great. And um, yeah, it's nice. Great and nice look. And uh, yep, yeah, I'm fine with the setting. You can change the colors with your choice as well. And I hope you like this video. If you like this video and found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. We will meet in our next video, never stop, never depend and keep learning.